child molester. She held nothing back, and the world's media were treated to an astonishing tirade against Michael. Well, I must tell you that um, this is very difficult for me, that Michael is my brother. I love him a great deal, but I cannot and I will not be a silent collaborator of his crimes against small, innocent children. And if I remain silent, then that means that I feel the guilt and the humiliation that these children are feeling, and I think it's very wrong. I have seen checks payable to the parents of these children. And I don't know if these children were apparently bought to the parents by Michael or not, but I have seen these checks, and I've seen these checks through my mother. She showed me these checks that Michael had written to these children, and it's for a great amount. And I'm not speaking pennies. The sums are a very, very large amount. And this is my first time talking about it, and I never want to speak about it. I never want to say anything about it. But I think it's sad because I am a victim myself, and I know what it feels like. And these kids are going to be scarred for the rest of their life, and I don't want to see any more innocent small children being affected this way. I love Michael very dearly, but I feel even more sorry for these children because they don't have a life anymore. They do. Stop and you think for one second and you tell me what 35-year-old man is going to take a little boy and stay with him for 30 days and take another boy and stay with him for five days in a room and never leave the room. How many would take little kids and do that that are 9, 10, 11 years old? I love my brother, but it's wrong. I don't want to see these kids hurt. I've been hurt by it too. My father molested me sexually, and I don't like it. I don't like the way it feels. And to this day, this is my husband, and he can vouch for this. I will not have a relationship with him because of that. But I love him dearly, but I cannot. Perhaps one day I will come to terms with it, and I will be able to. But for now, I can't do it. And that's what I don't want to see happen to these little kids, because I know what it feels like in the heart. And it's a very sad situation. It really is. You have no idea what it feels like. This has been going on since 19... I go lived at home with myself and my mother and my father and of course my other brothers are all older so we were at home 15 years longer than the rest of the, of the members in the family and there were always little boys at the house and they were not just a group of them but it was always one at a time yes and they would spend nights and they would sleep in his room yes but however I must tell you I was not in the same bed with them so I don't know what went on in the bed I have seen checks payable to the parents of these children. And I don't know if these children were apparently bought to the parents by Michael or not, but I have seen these checks. And I've seen these checks through my mother. She showed me these checks that Michael had written to these children, and it's for a great amount. And I'm not speaking pennies. The sums are a very, very large amount. And this is my first time talking about it, and I never want to speak about it. I never want to say anything about it. But I think it's sad because I am a victim myself, and I know what it feels like. And these kids are going to be scarred for the rest of their life, and I don't want to see any more innocent small children being affected this way. I love Michael very dearly, but I feel even more sorry for these children because they don't have a life anymore. They don't. There's been two major kidnap attempts on Latoya that were stopped. They were paid and financed by Michael Jackson. Eventually, Michael and Latoya were reconciled, and peace was restored. Mm -hmm.